Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today we'll talk about investigator-initiated trials in clinical research. More after the intro. <music> clinical research is an essential component of modern medicine, as it helps to improve healthcare and ensure the safety and effectiveness of new treatments, drugs, and devices. Clinical trials and research studies allow for the discovery of new medical knowledge, ultimately leading to better patient care. One type of clinical trial is an investigator-initiated trial, which differs from industry-sponsored trials in various ways. This video will provide a small guide on investigator-initiated trials for new clinical research associates and doctors interested in conducting their own investigator-initiated trials. Investigator-initiated trials are clinical trials initiated and managed by independent researchers, usually physicians or other healthcare professionals, rather than by the pharmaceutical or medical device industry. The investigator takes responsibility for designing, conducting, and reporting the results of the study. Investigator-initiated trials can be single-center or multicenter studies and can be conducted at academic institutions, hospitals, or other research facilities. Compared to industry-sponsored trials, investigator-initiated trials generally have more freedom in terms of study design and objectives. This allows investigators to explore research questions that may not have immediate commercial value but are important for advancing medical knowledge. However, investigator-initiated trials often face more challenges in terms of funding and resources compared to industry-sponsored trials. But what are the steps to conduct an investigator-initiated trial? 1. Identifying the research question. The first step in conducting an investigator-initiated trial is to identify a relevant and important research question. This may be based on clinical observations, unmet patient needs, or gaps in existing medical knowledge. 2. Developing the study protocol. Once the research question has been identified, the investigator must develop a detailed study protocol outlining the objectives, design, methods, and statistical analysis plan for the trial. 3. Gaining ethics committee slash institutional review board approval. Before initiating the study, the investigator must obtain approval from the appropriate ethics committee or institutional review board to ensure the ethical conduct of the trial. 4. Securing funding and resources. Investigator-initiated trials often face funding challenges, so investigators must secure financial support from grants, foundations, or other sources. In addition to funding, investigators also need to ensure they have access to necessary equipment, facilities, and personnel. 5. Selecting and Training Research Team the investigator must assemble a qualified research team, study coordinators, and other staff. Training should be provided to ensure all team members understand their roles and responsibilities within the trial. 6. Recruiting study participants. Participant recruitment can be a significant challenge in investigator-initiated trials. Investigators must develop strategies to identify and enroll eligible participants while ensuring informed consent and adherence to ethical guidelines. 7. Implementing the study and collecting data. Once participants have been enrolled, the study can begin. Investigators must ensure that all data is collected accurately and consistently, following the study protocol. 8. Analyzing data and interpreting results. After data collection is complete, the investigator must analyze the results and interpret the findings, considering any potential biases or limitations in the study design. 9. Disseminating the findings. Finally, investigators should share their findings through publication in scientific journals, presentation at conferences, or other means to contribute to the medical community's knowledge. Let us talk about regulatory and compliance considerations for investigator-initiated trials. Investigator-initiated trials are subject to oversight by various regulatory bodies, 
such as the European Medicines Agency or the US. Food and Drug Administration, depending on the country or region in which the trial is conducted. Compliance with applicable regulations and guidelines is essential for ensuring patient safety and maintaining the integrity of the research. Some key compliance considerations for investigator-initiated trials include safety reporting and monitoring, informed consent, and patient privacy. Investigators must adhere to relevant guidelines for reporting adverse events, conducting safety reviews, and protecting patient confidentiality. Conducting investigator-initiated trials can be challenging due to resource limitations, funding constraints, and other factors. Some potential solutions to address these challenges include collaborating with other institutions or researchers to pool resources and expertise, seeking additional funding sources, such as grants or philanthropy, implementing robust data management systems and processes to ensure data quality and integrity, developing strategies to improve participant recruitment and retention, such as community engagement, balancing clinical responsibilities with research activities by delegating tasks or utilizing time management techniques. In conclusion, investigator-initiated trials play an important role in advancing medical knowledge and improving patient care by allowing independent researchers to explore important research questions. Clinical research associates play a crucial role in ensuring the successful execution of many investigator-initiated trials, despite the unique challenges they may face compared to industry-sponsored trials. By understanding the steps, regulatory requirements, and potential challenges associated with investigator-initiated trials, New clinical research associates and doctors interested in conducting their own investigator-initiated trials can contribute to the growth and development of the clinical research community. If you experience challenges as an investigator running a trial, you should contact a clinical research organization to acquire the aid you need, especially at the start. Thank you for watching our video and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. We look forward to see you next time.